what are your thoughts after the 2-0 loss against Chesterfield? A um, bit of a mixed bag really, I think we're a little bit frustrated, obviously um, competitive season now is finished for us, um, which is, is frustrating, um, but other than that, you know, we've, we've, we've kind of given a good account of ourselves, um, it was a frustrating sort of first 10 minutes, but after that it was a good game, um, so yeah, it is what it is, it's frustrating, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Both of Chesterfield's goals were scored in the first three minutes and both from set pieces, so do you think it's simply a case of a slow start? Yeah, potentially. I think, you know, um, again, it is what it is. They were both really, really well executed set pieces. Um, and frustratingly for us, that kind of knocked our game plan out the window a little bit. So we had to, uh, you know, we had to retain the ball and try and put pressure on Chesterfield. And they, they changed their shape then after those two goals. Um, so they played in a bit of a different way, a bit deeper, had more players behind the ball. So it was, it was difficult to break them down, which meant we couldn't create as much. Um, so it left us with, with an uphill sort of climb straight away so yeah it was it was frustrating um i don't think the girls started slowly as such um it was just chesterfield executed their two set pieces really really well so there aren't any more games now in the trevor clifton trophy but as for the new season what are you going to be working on in training to rectify the sort of problems that came from chesterfield's game I think for us it's just about now setting the culture and everything for next season. Um, like you say, no more competitive fixtures, but we have got fixtures now um, until the end of the season. So we'll be playing um, every Sunday and, and we've got a game midweek as well. So it's a really good opportunity for the girls that are here to show they want to be here next year, first and foremost. Um, that they're still going to, you know, it'll say a lot about the players we've got now to see how committed people are for the back end of the season. And um, like I say, they're playing for shirts now, they're playing for contracts. So that's really, really important. Um, gives us a really, really strong running now to prepare for next year as well. In terms of training, um, we're just going to carry on doing what we're doing. We believe in ourselves, we're a good football inside. Um, and obviously waiting to find out what happens with criteria as to whether we get promoted or not. Um, and that might change the focus a little bit. Um, but yeah, just back to basics and, and hard work now until the end of the season. Despite not finding a breakthrough in the rest of the game, were you pleased with the girls' performance overall? Yeah, 100%. We can't, we can't fault the performance, um, especially second half. They came out really sort of firing on all cylinders. Um, they worked hard. They put a lot of effort and energy in, into that 45 minutes. And um, like I say, it was really, really difficult to break Chesterfield down. They were well organised, um, sat deep in that second half and, and made it difficult for us. So as frustrating as it was, yeah, we can't fault the effort from the girls. It was a, it was a strong showing nonetheless. You must be understandably disappointed at getting knocked out of the Trevor Clifton Trophy, but it has seen Knotts performing well against some higher sides. Would you say, what would you round up with the positives in the last few weeks? I think the positives for us are just, again, sort of evidencing that we're competitive against teams in the division above, um, which we always knew we would be. Um, we've, we've shown that in friendlies in the past, and I think now showing it in competitive games is really, really important. Um, so we've done that, we show we can mix it up there. Um, and then, like I say, hopefully the criteria and everything we've got going on at the club and behind the scenes in terms of setting this club up for, for future upward mobility um, puts us in a good stead to, to go up. Um, but yeah, the positives are just that the girls rose to the challenge. Um, they worked really, really hard and, and came back. It was, it's been a really difficult year for everybody. It's been stop start, no consistency, no momentum. Um, so to kind of come back after you know a huge break um, from sort of back end of last year and, and a lot of this year as well, um, to come back and show the right attitude and commitment has been really, really pleasing. And finally, looking forward to the new season, how do you think the girls need to push themselves over the summer in order to keep moving up in the division ranks? Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's as simple as culture. They've just got to come correct. They've got to make sure that you know they're working hard, that every, every session is an opportunity for them to learn and develop, and um, they're putting into action what they're learning and training onto the pitch on a Sunday. Um, and like I say, every week will be like Chesterfield if we do get promoted. So there's got, not going to be, you know, no disrespect to teams, but there aren't going to be easy games that we're just going to expect to win like there have been in our division in the last couple of seasons. So, you know, we're going to have to be really switched on, work really, really hard. And, you know, if, if players want to be with us on that journey, they will be. And like I say, we'll find out back end of this, this season now if they don't want to be and they're not committed, then they'll, they'll be replaced. So it's as simple as that.